Malta moves to protect British citizens after Brexit. Now that the Brexit transition period is about to end, what happens to UK nationals in Malta? What about Maltese nationals in the UK? Can UK nationals retain their EU free movement rights too? We've got some clarification on what to do. In this video, we will discuss what provisions, the Maltese and the UK governments have made post-Brexit for each other's nationals. We will explain what UK nationals need to do in Malta, as well as what you need to do to prepare for when the transition period ends. We also touch on what Maltese nationals need to do to also protect their EU rights in the UK. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate, your likes, and comments below, as it helps to support our channel. With two weeks until Brexit, and no deal in sight yet, the Maltese government, over a month ago, started urging UK nationals to register for a 10-year residency card. Similarly, irrespective of how long they have been living in the UK, Maltese nationals should register their residency in the UK before the end of the year. A lot of things are still uncertain, however the Maltese authorities have advised that UK nationals have until June 2021 to apply for a residency card in Malta. So far, a total of 13,000 UK nationals have applied for residency in Malta. On the other hand, a total of 5,580 Maltese people have applied to regularise their residency in the UK through the EU Settlement Scheme. Foreign Affairs Minister, Everest Bartolo, urged people to prepare for all possible scenarios, especially considering that Brexit will impact all sectors. He said, Malta has always called for a close relationship between the UK and the EU, however, this also depended on the British government. The minister added that the Maltese government was still holding discussions with the UK about issues that fall outside of the EU's remit, such as specialised medical treatment and training for medical professionals. Chamber of Commerce President, David Zureb, stated that discussions between the UK and the EU were geared towards some sort of agreement. We are cautiously optimistic, however, we know that by the end of the year, there might be a no-deal exit. There is nothing better to prepare yourself than to remain continuously updated. He also warned businesses that they could not afford to waste more time, so, unless they have already done so, they should hold discussions with their counterparts in the UK as soon as possible. Regardless of the results of the future partnership negotiations, the UK will leave the EU customs union and single market by the end of the year, so imported, exported and transiting goods will be subject to new customs and regulatory procedures. If you are a UK resident in Malta, on or before December 31st, you will be able to stay. You will need to obtain a new residency card by the end of June 2021, in line with the withdrawal agreement. If you have been living in Malta for three months or more, and have not yet registered for residency, or if your residence document has expired, you should contact the appropriate authorities. If you have previously registered for residency, you will receive a letter from Identity Malta by the end of this year about your new card. The letter will tell you when and where to go to apply for it, as well as what documents you will need to take with you. The first call for applications will soon be coming to an end. If you work in Malta and make social security contributions, you can be issued with a Maltese European Health Insurance card for use across the EU. As long as you are a legal resident in Malta before December 31st, you will be able to use your Malta-issued European Health Insurance card when you visit the UK before and after the transition period. If you don't qualify for healthcare coverage through your national security contributions, you should check 
If you are eligible to apply for the Maltese Reciprocal Agreement Malta, UK, Entitlement Card. This card allows you to register at your nearest health centre, on the Maltese government website, and make GP appointments. Cardholders are not entitled to long-term care and treatment outside Malta, and are not eligible for a Maltese European Health Insurance Card. UK nationals, who applied for residency in the country, do not need to apply for a work permit. If you are resident in Malta, on or before the end of this year, your right to work, or study, will not change, as long as you remain resident in Malta. Eligibility for financial support requires a minimum of five years of residency in Malta. Driving license rules will stay the same until the end of the year. If you are resident in Malta, you should exchange your UK license for a Maltese one by completing Transport Malta's DRV 30 form. If you are resident in Malta, you will not be able to renew a lost, stolen, or expired license with the UK driver and vehicle licensing agency. You should therefore exchange your license for a Maltese one before your UK license expires. UK nationals will be able to travel to Malta without a visa following the 9180 days rule. A valid passport is needed to be allowed entry in the country. UK nationals who wish to stay in Malta for a longer period need to apply for a visa, depending on the purpose of your stay. Maltese nationals are also subjected to the same rule when visiting the UK. Have you settled your residence in Malta or the UK? Comment below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe or the UK, including help with securing your travel arrangements, I am can help. For visa advice, contact your I am visa coordinator. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell for more travel and visa updates. Thank you.